Righty, let's do this. So this is a super quick, ultra simple breakdown of how to paint canal boat roses. So there's a few different stages and I'll show you the first. It's basically paint the background. That's it. Boom. So an orange background will make a yellow flower. A pink background will make a white flower, or white rose, and a burgundy or black background will make a red flower. Um, so once you've done the background, the next step is to do the shading. And I basically just use a slightly darker colour of um, a, a, sorry, a slightly darker tone of the colour I'm using. So if I've got orange in the palette, I'll just add maybe a little bit of red, a little bit of brown um, to get the shade that I want. But I'm not of brown, so I usually use brown because I like the the earthy colour it makes the red, but um, the earthy colour it makes the orange, sorry. So, but that's quite nice anyway. So the shading is, um, you work out which way you want your rose to point, so I want to have mine going the same way as that one, so I'll just have it there, and this is the centre shading of the rose, and then just a little bit down at the bottom like that. Now at this stage you want to let all of that dry, so um, do things like the border, do things like your leaves um, and then just leave it because if you try and paint over it as you know the paint will go all smooshy. So a traditional standard sort of um, border that you see on quite a lot is what I call the, I call it a jumping fish because I think it looks like a jumping fish but just like that. That creates quite a nice block of colour and then you can go along and add smaller details in between to make it more interesting, obviously using different colours. I sometimes put little white dots down these down these flicks, but that's quite a nice border like that. So I'll show you how to do a leaf and then quickly I'll show you how to do the petals. So the leaf is just very simply two strokes like that and then I like to put in different sizes just so that it makes it look a little more natural and then all I do to add detail um, is a vein so something like that and uh, I sometimes do two maybe different colors um, so a lighter lighter green on top of that um, so yeah just like that really and then what I do is I go around with um, the white paint and I do little dots around the edges to add um, brightness to it as well <laughs> 